So last week, a lot of people made fun of me for calling in sick to work because of digestive woes. Well, if you had a shop bathroom like ours, trust me, you'd call in sick too. A long time ago, we tested flex tape to see if we could repair a trumpet that we cut up, and we did some tools, we I think. We did a hammer. It worked okay, but there's a better product out there called Fiber Fix, or it's better in theory. They it's... say it's strong as steel, and so we were using something that was rubbery. We needed something more steel-like. We've got a hammer, we've got a pick, we've got a screwdriver, and, and a shovel. A long shovel. We're going to break all of these tools, fix them with fiber fix, and see if they can still be used and make it cheaper than actually buying a new tool. Yeah, not, yeah. But you, made, you made sense. Okay. <laughs> Step one, we gotta, gra that's gravel. You're never gonna sink the shovel in there. That's <laughs> gravel. <laughs> We're gonna bend the shovel before it breaks. All the way. More. Okay, now break it. It's not gonna break. The ground's too soft. More. 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 Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Safety squints. Safety squints. Gotta get a little closer. Mm, no. <laughs> He's new. Oh! It actually worked. Well, clean that off now. We gotta fix it. <laughs> yeah, you filled it with dirt now. <laughs> we haven't watered yet. Squirt it out. Squirt it out. Okay, now uh, these ones are gonna be a little bit harder to break. Nibble, nibble. Oh! It like just shattered it. So we've got everything broken down now. We've got a shovel. I cut this pick slash Maddox. Matt, Mattock? Mattock. Mattock. Maddox? I've, heard I've of always restaurant. heard it Maddox. But I've it... heard of that restaurant, yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got a hammer, which is actually kind of cool. You can see that they've got like weight reduction holes in the handle. It's not solid? No. Well, I mean, it is solid, but they've got holes through it to make the handle lighter. And probably to make this hold on better. I don't know. But it's not really going through those holes. Anyway, and then uh, the screwdriver, which if you looked carefully in that clip, you would have noticed that we ruined the cutting die on the iron worker. <laughs> it's only $500 to fix. I'm not a huge deal. <laughs> it's on its way. Sorry, Craig. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that steel ended up being way harder than I thought it was going to be, so... Uh, if you want to help us recoup our money for this video, you can visit waterjetknives.com. Waterjetknives.com. Check out the front page of our website. You can fill out a form and we'll cut you out a custom piece of steel. Doesn't even have to be a knife. Uh, it can be whatever you want. We got a variety of steels as well. What did I just lick? Waterjet knives. So now we've got to piece all of these back together. We've got fiber fix. It claims you can wrap it around any broken thing, get it wet, and then in 10 minutes it, quote, hardens like steel. Let's see if it'll break the iron worker. I'm skeptical. Okay. Are you satisfied? Not usually. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll uh, let that cure. So we've got a one inch wide roll. Five seconds, screwdriver. <laughs> Is that a <laughs> Good as new. <laughs> Don't worry about that. 
I don't think we could have had a worse type of break on this shovel. Yeah. Just jam all these shards together. And... <laughs> Once you're done hammering it together, you'll need a new spade end because it'll be dull. <laughs> <laughs> so this shovel was, I think it was $19. The uh, two inch strip was $8. So this one might be worth it, but I'm thinking no. Last up is a hammer. Start the middle. Ooh, this one's gonna be rough. I don't think you're gonna have enough material to go the full length, so you gotta stay up top where it matters. That's why I started right in the middle, where it doesn't make sense. Nice. You're doing great, Elliot. Thank you. Don't listen to the comment section. <laughs> okay, hammer is all wrapped up. We're gonna set that one out to uh, here. The instructions say 10 minutes. It's a little cloudy. It's a little cold. So we'll give it 50. Yeah. Okay. Moment of truth. Is it hard? Does it like feel solid? I mean, it feels like a cast kind of. Looks it's, like a cast. It's kind of what I'm thinking. This is just cast material. Did, did they just repackage <laughs> cast material? <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> okay, stomp on it. Stomp it. Let's get down in there. Oh, that's a 10 pounds of dirt right there. <laughs> okay, now just pry that. Oh my gosh! Holy, Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> this thing is stronger than ever. I, I'm impressed. Hey, look, it's slightly cooler, Elliot. I got my safety squints a... engaged. Oh, uh, a you hit a right giant there. rock. Smack that rock pretty good. It hurts my hand. Flip <laughs> it over and break you see that those rock. Arcs. Okay, I flip it over and try and spike it in half. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna break this today. Uh, I don't know how we could. I'm trying to think what we could do to like 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 this isn't jet. very stressful. Yeah, we could just put it under the water jet. Use a, a pry test. Hey, bring it over here. Try and pry one of these boards up. Oh, it's flexing. I think that's, that's all in the plastic. handle, right? Yeah, it's just... I mean, the... Take a look at the side angle. Like, it seems like it's, it's all bending above this point. Flexing like, yeah, up here. There we go! Oh. Nice. Now it's just a little bit more ergonomic. <laughs> it's a hoe. So definitely not as good as original, but... I mean, if you're using it in dirt. Yeah, or not as a pry bar. Yeah, if you're using it like a pick. That is impressive. But then there, again, more I, layers would help too. That is true. If That's we did like, thing. if we did two packs on that, which we didn't have, it would have been way stuff? better. Uh, the pick was $29, I think. So you could spend like 16 bucks. Is that worth to repair it? Yikes. If someone were to water jet it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you want to repair it? I mean, no. Stuff like the failures like this happen out in the field all the time, I'm sure. <laughs> all the time. You know? it breaks like glass. <laughs> That's what they say about steel. <laughs> you know what they say about steel? It breaks like glass. <laughs> it's poor man's glass. Next up is the hammer. We're going to hammer in a nail. Put it in too far. Oh, I screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdriver. I, I feel like this board might be a little too soft. It's not really, it's not testing. Like it's tough. It honestly is, it seems like just a normal screwdriver. <laughs> Except it's off by a couple degrees. <laughs> Which I usually am. <laughs> that could all be in the rest. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, can the hammer pull this nail out that you just screwed in? I mean, it's a screw, so I don't think you're gonna be able to pull it out. Elliot's got like 600 pounds in dumbbells, so he was born for this task. Ugh. No, it's not. <laughs> what do you got all those dumbbells for then if you can't even pull a nail out? Uh, this is why screws are better than nails. <laughs> Except they aren't. This was supposed to be an ad for, for some things. For well, this. they have screws with better shear strength. Hey, oh, I missed it. He got it out. You, you missed it? I was too busy looking at Mitchell. We thought you'd never get it. <laughs> yeah, Moral of the story is the hammer held up just fine with putting a crap ton of force on it. Yeah. And. But if it would have just been cut here, I don't think it would have held up. No. Because we cut it long way. Maybe we should have. Metal hammer. Maybe we should have just cut the head off, like mm. that. But now Elliot has a new hammer. You earned yes, it. This one survived the test. I'm taking this home. Hang it on My your wall. Pay for the week. That's like your pay for the next two weeks. <laughs> I did not think this material would stick to the slick surface on that screwdriver, but that is. Oh, twisted oh. it. Got it. I'm you didn't even to... have to do it. Weren't you? What? No. Oh, no. Okay, I'm really confused then. Like, how are you able to put a screw in and then pull on it really hard? See, it's back to its strength now. I don't know. Do we count that one as a win? I don't think you can count it as a win because it was a $6 screwdriver and an $8 repair. <laughs> yeah. Definitely just buy another screwdriver. Now we see the quality of the repair. I mean, it's honestly thicker than I thought it would be. Well, I did cut it on a pretty steep angle though. I was trying to see how many that's what she said comments <laughs> we could put in there in a row. It's a lot splashier than I thought. It's a lot thicker than I thought too. That. That's some solid wood. That is some solid wood. <laughs> It worked like a shovel. And now it's a hand shovel. Yes. Mm. In my absence last week, I had a lot of time to ponder and think and reflect on what you guys have said in our past videos. And I do need to be nicer to Elliot. So now I want you guys to go down to the comments and I'll say one nice thing you have to say about Elliot. Yeah, Dan's not gonna do it, but he would like you to do it. <laughs> he just could use some moral support right now. These guys. <laughs> Thank you.